Dramatic whitewater rescue as a tour group going down some very large rapids. Two people are thrown from the raft you see there. No time to spare. Luckily, however, there was someone there who knew exactly what to do. ABC's John Muller has the story. Call it an adventurous excursion gone overboard. You're looking at the moment a whitewater rafting trip turned into a white-knuckled rescue attempt. It happened on Washington's White Salmon River. Watch closely as the raft hits that 14-foot drop. Two of the rafters go flying. One man able to cling to the edge of the raft for dear life, the other hits the water hard, apparently knocked unconscious. He begins to float down river. That's when experienced river guide Russ Cole jumps into action. The water raging around them, Cole manages to pull the man to a rocky embankment. For a while there, Cole says it wasn't looking good. After I would yelled to him a couple times, I could tell he wasn't turning over. He had his bell rung seriously. After a few minutes on the riverbank, the man comes to, dazed and confused, but otherwise unharmed. And the first thing he said to Cole, where am I and how did I get here? I told him you ran a waterfall and we warned you not to do it. And he said, but I had fun. And at the end of the day, he said he was coming back. So why did the man go overboard to begin with? Well, Cole says it appears he forgot a very important rafting rule to hold on. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York.